So, Inside Out 2 just got its very first TV spot, so I'm going to give you my thoughts and break down this TV spot. There's not a lot here, but I hope you enjoy. We start off the TV spot with seeing just the clips we've seen from the trailers, basically, where we have Riley as she's about to turn 13, and we see her parents are kind of like making her blow the candle so that when she turns 13, it's like this big moment. And then when we see her go to bed, we see this shot where all the old characters kind of yell joy, and joy looks behind her as this wrecking ball breaks through the window, and you notice that the glass, when it breaks, it doesn't look realistic at all, but that's what I love about it the most. Is that it, it's not supposed to feel real. We're inside someone's head, so they can go full abstract and crazy with what they're doing here. We then see Joy asking, what are you guys doing exactly? And then the mind workers are like, expanding for the others. Which if you actually see this shot, there's an alternative shot in the teaser trailer where it's nighttime. But it looks like if you look really closely at the sky, it looks like it's turning into daytime basically. So it means like right as they're done creating chaos into headquarters, Riley is waking up, which is how we're going to kind of meet the new emotions, is right when she wakes up, right after she turns 13. And then, we don't really get much of any new shots, we just kind of get that same shot we've seen in the teaser trailer, where Anxiety is like, where can I put my stuff? Which is a clever use of like, I mean, she has like baggage. Anxiety is literally a lot of baggage for some people. And then we get introduced to Envy, of which, not a new interaction, not a new shot, but the main thing that I wanted to talk about was when Anxiety says that to the old character, she said, Riley doesn't need you guys anymore, as Embarrassment picks them up and, of course, bottles them up. I don't think he's going to exactly put them in the jar from what we've seen in the trailers. I think that may happen differently in the actual film. But the fact that Anxiety says that we don't need you anymore is kind of hurtful, and it really is interesting how their dynamic is kind of like... Not the best in this movie, but it may, it's definitely going to get fixed at the end of the film. Definitely the reason why Anxiety is doing this, we've seen this in the trailers as well, when Anxiety knows exactly what to do, Joy will push her away and do what Joy will just do because Joy doesn't really understand Anxiety. She did the same thing to Sadness in the first movie because she didn't understand the value in Sadness, and now she's not understanding what Anxiety is exactly trying to do. Because the thing about the old characters compared to the new ones, the old characters like Disgust, Anger, Fear, and all the other ones, is that they react to things when they happen. But Anxiety, she reacts to things before they happen, and while Joy is kind of just not working with Anxiety very well, and that's why Anxiety doesn't really like these new characters and says, well, Riley doesn't really need you guys, I can control the control panel a lot better than you guys will. So Embarrassment picks them up, and that's how they get bottled up and kicked out of headquarters. Which that creates a very like interesting story for the new film, because now Anxiety can't be angry, she can't be scared, well, she kind of can with Anxiety, but not exactly. She can't be disgusted, she can't be happy, and again, she can't be sad. Which, I mean, that's gonna come, that's gonna be a big problem in the movie. And just like the first movie, Anxiety and the rest of the gang, or like her new, the new characters like Anxiety, Ennui, Envy, and Embarrassment are gonna do something so bad to Riley that they're gonna probably be like, what have we done? And they're gonna definitely regret their decision of kicking the old characters out. And then right at the last second, the old characters come back in some way, somehow. I don't know how the heck they're gonna come back now that there's like five characters. But when they come back, they're going to have to fix the situation. But maybe Anxiety realizes that she needs the old characters, that they need to work together and not just basically, I don't like using that word, but basically like don't abandon them and basically work together with them. And I think that's how this movie is going to end is with them finally like having that big pinnacle moment. That's going to be both sad and will also have the message of the movie, just like with the first film. Afterwards, we don't really get any new shots, it's just the characters in a jar with fear saying we are suppressed emotions, which, I mean, Tony Hale is actually doing a pretty decent job as fear. I mean, it's kind of hard to not hear Forky from Toy Story 4, which was the character that he played last time when he was in a Pixar movie. We are suppressed emotions! Oh, your friends. Oh, ah! what is so when you hear him say suppressed emotion, all I hear is just Forky screaming. But other than that, that's not, there's really not much to this TV spot. There is a cool animation at the end where we see Anger looking angry, Anxiety looking kind of like she's laughing with Joy as well. I like this animation as well. They do use these in like the music videos for like the main song for the movies. 
for the, like the certain Disney and Pixar films. They did it for like Soul and Onward. They haven't done this in a long time, and I hope they do it again with this movie. Hey, hey, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our newest videos. Yes. But what do you guys think about this TV spot overall? I'll be talking about every piece of like Inside Out 2 news as it comes out. Hope you're enjoying the way that I'm doing my voiceover. I'm really feeling more confident in my recordings, and I will see you guys all next time.